Oh, I'm actually frying. Oh! It teleported me back. What's up, guys? I'm back on Ark. Oh, yeah. Ark Genesis. It's finally here. And uh, I've been purposely avoiding finding out anything about this. Because I just want to play it and uh, find out as I go. I know a little bit. I know a few things. Um, I know a couple of the creatures and stuff like that. But overall, I really haven't looked into it. Um, yeah, but what I have seen looks absolutely brilliant. we got a uh, HLNA. Or H as I like to call her. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I've spawned in in the bog biome. I've had a little look around on some of the other biomes um, while I was setting up the server. And uh, looks absolutely fantastic. But uh, I'm going to start off in the bog biome just because I think the uh, resources are easier to come across here at the start. Uh, try and get a little starting hut set up, and eventually I want to move to the uh, ocean biome. Because that place looks absolutely amazing. And uh, that will be where I stay for a little while. And I might either migrate to the uh, frost zone or um, maybe the lunar zone if you can build something there eventually. I don't know. We'll see as we go. Um, I've got the uh, server back. This is my private server. Got it back. Uh, and got it on times for everything except taming is on um, times 10. And uh, it's set up for PvP. If you've seen my Infinite Arc series um, before on the channel, um, I only just started before uh, we lost the server. I say lost, uh, my mate gave it up. So, um, oh boy. On that, we was doing uh, PvP with a few friends. And, uh, oh, this is not good. What's this way? And we was doing little mini games and stuff. There's a video on the channel somewhere called the Death Run, which is a Death Run my mate Jamie built, and we was messing around. That it was super fun. And we also had a um, like a team deathmatch arena. Oh no, which I uh, didn't get to record any of, um, but we did have a go on it. I'm probably about to die here. What is that? Oh boy. And this is absolutely savage. Holy crap. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to do some more stuff like that, and do some proper PvP. Just so spawn back in. Pow! I love the new spawning in animation. That's great. Um, on the Infinite Arc server, we was playing on before. We was like all really friendly with each other. We obviously were all friends. I'm like trying to record stuff, and. Uh, we weren't really like open world PvPing, but this time when the guys get on the server, it's going to be no holds back. We're going to be going at each other. Um, we'll have a few like uh, gen gentlemen's rules or whatever you'd like to call it. Um, but full base raids are on, all that good stuff. If you're out in the world and you find each other, it's on. There's going to be no hiding from it, so that's going to be good. Going to have some mods on the server. I'm not going to go crazy with them. I've got S plus on. Oh my god, the Titan drone things are so annoying. Uh, and that's not even the flies we've run into yet. They're really annoying. Can I make uh, a pickaxe yet? There we go. Oh no! Oh my god. This is so hard. This is meant to be the easy biome. God damn it. Um, yeah, mods. Uh, I've only got S plus on at the moment and a spyglass mod. I look at my light beams everywhere already. Um, and I probably will put on some building mods, because I like building, obviously, and some decor mods. But um, I don't know. We'll see what the future holds. But any any of that stuff will be in the description of the video. Any All the mods and stuff that I'm using. Whenever I put any new ones on, I'll put it in the description. All the... Um, oh, that looks awesome. All the server settings will be in the description as well, if you want to check that out. But, yeah. We're here. Art Genesis. Um... Looks fantastic, by the way. From what I've seen of the the biome so far, absolutely looks amazing. Um, at the end of the video, I'll, I'll quickly go through to some of the biomes and just like have a little look at them, uh, just to show you guys if you haven't seen them what they look like because they look incredible. But like I said earlier, first of all, I just want to get a little hut set up here. Um, I really wanted to get set up in the ocean biome to start with, like I said earlier, but you, I've got the option on where you can't build on. Um, 
quest areas, mission areas. Um, and that's just simply because... Oh, I need some wooden thatch. Um, that's just simply because I didn't want to like clog up any spawning in areas and any mission stuff. Uh, but I might change that later on. But at the moment, I've got it left how it's intended, so you can't build there. Um, and because of that, the areas you jump to, as far as I can tell on the ocean biome, are all in them protected areas, so I couldn't find anywhere to build when I've looked earlier. Um, so I'm going to get set up here and move there later. And then, once I've got that done at the end of the video, probably while I'm looking around the other biomes, I'll give you guys my first impressions of Genesis and what I think of it so far, and um, yeah, all that stuff. So anyway, I'm going to get some stuff farmed up. I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me doing that. You've already just watched me uh, running around, <laughs> trying to get some stuff together. So I'm going to get my um, tools and that made, uh, and get the stuff to build my first base. And uh, I'll join you then. Oh boy. Now is not a good time. I've just about uh, got some stuff together to build my little hut and found a nice little spot. Now there's flies everywhere. It'd be really nice if they give me a bit of hide though. I don't know whether they will or not. Can't even see any. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I could have done with the hide. Oh, there's another set. I managed to hit one earlier and it gave me hide, but these ones don't seem to do it. Oh, that was close. Nearly broke before I killed him. Oh, there we go. Yes! Quick, 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 quick. Come on! Okay, got him. More hide, please? Yes! Ah, oh, that is absolutely awesome! Right, okay. Let's quickly knock this up then. That's better, I can actually fit through that. Alright, okay, basic hut, no windows. Uh, I'm going to modify this when I get a minute and uh, make it a little bit better. Going to eventually, once I've got more hide, get some spikes and stuff around it, give myself a little bit of protection. Although I appreciate not that much, but uh, it'll be nice nonetheless. And uh, yeah, not a bad view out of there, is it? That's pretty nice. This game is absolutely stunning. Right, there's the first little hut. I've got my bed, got a little storage box. I will sort that out later. Right, okay, so before we do anything else, let's go and check out, if I can speak to H, some of the other biomes. Let's go to the um, ocean biome first, because I want to show you what I want to move there. Here we go, the ocean biome. Ocean? Ocean. <laughs> yeah, I can speak in a second. But I might sound a bit funny to any regular viewers because uh, I've got a bit of a, a cold or something I've come down with. and uh, Yeah, so I might sound a bit different. But anyway, in the ocean biome, and this is where I want to move to eventually. Uh, once I've got a bit more established, got some metal and stuff to build, some grappling hooks and climbing picks, I think I'm going to need them here. Um, the little bit of exploring I've done around here, 
Um, looks like all the islands are really hard to access unless you can like fly up there or climb up there or something. They're all these bluffs look, but they look absolutely fantastic. And in um, the water, you might be like, oh, there's one right now. You can see the turtles, and they look wicked. I can't wait to try and build something on there. There he is. Look, you should be able to see him there. Awesome. They look great. And uh, yeah, I just really like this place. So I think what I'm gonna do is. Um, uh, I don't know if it'll be the next episode or something. I'll get a um, raft <laughs> so I can go exploring this place better. Uh, I might wait until I've got some, like I said, like grappling hooks and climbing picks and stuff to actually get up. Um, if you've got a blood stalker, I believe you can do this because you can like climb up stuff. I don't know if you can fly on the the f normal flying dinos. Um, I've tried to keep the options left how they are for Genesis because obviously I want to experience the actual Genesis DLC. And as far as I can tell, I don't think you can actually fly. There was an option to allow it. So, um, I don't know. Maybe stuff on here you can fly. I don't know. We'll find out later. But um, with the Bloodstalker, they're like giant Spider-Man creatures. They're absolutely wicked. I can't wait to get one. But um, if I haven't got one of them soon, I will, like I said, get some grappling hooks and stuff so I can get started on, on the uh, ocean biome because I absolutely love this place. Um... But yeah, everywhere I've spawned on the ocean biome is like this. You spawn on top of a bluff and it's absolutely lush. Loads of vegetation everywhere, all these trees. Um, when I spawned in originally, though, I couldn't find any stones to pick up. It was only like the big rocks, but I have actually found some since, but it was quite hard to find them. Hence why I started in the bog biome. Um, so yeah, that's the ocean biome. Uh, where's H? There yeah, she is. Uh, let's go to... The Lena. Teleport ready. Whoa! Oh my god! Tech Rex. <sighs> no. Um, I do love that spawning in thing. Look at this place. It is beautiful. Why are all them falling from the sky? There's loads of floating stuff. What is going on? And as you can see, there's very low gravity. <gasps> what the hell? Oh, there's loads of tech raptors, loads of stuff. And I can't see any right now, but oh, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. There is some giant flying whales somewhere. I'm s oh my god, that is loud. And it, it's so freezing here. Um, so you don't get very long to explore like this. I don't know. Oh, wow. Okay. Now what? Radiation! Oh, we're gonna die. But you get the picture. This place is insane. I can't wait to get the gear to explore this place properly. Oh, I'm actually frying. Oh! It teleported me back. That's kind of cool. I thought I was gonna die. I'm gonna die anyway because of the cold. But yeah, you can see I'm absolutely stunning. Look at it. It looks amazing. I don't know what we can do here. Can't wait to find out though. Um, so I guess when I spawn in a minute, I'll jump to the. Uh, lava region, the fire region. We'll check that out. Here we go. The volcanic region is actually called, and this equally looks beautiful in its own right. I really do like the look of this place. Obviously, it's absolutely false mate, Fe false matingly, <laughs> uh, f face meltingly hot here. It's super hot. And uh, it looks great. There's some geysers and stuff, but I really like the um, volcanic landscape in the background. It looks stunning. Um, so, yeah, can't wait to explore this place properly. I'm guessing, I mean, desert gear or something maybe will help cool you down here. Um, or some of the um, aberration suits, maybe. I don't know whether they'll work. I don't know, maybe there's some um, other stuff that will keep you cool. Maybe the tech gear will do it. But we'll certainly find out and get explore around there at some point. But, yeah. Absolutely love it. Where's H gone? Come here, you. Oh, Megalania's going to kill me. Oh, there's the Argents. I've been poisoned. Oh, just kill me. Go on, dudes. Yeah. Thank you. And here's another one of my favourite places. An Arctic region. I love a snow biome. I don't know why. I just absolutely love it. It looks fantastic. And look at this little lake you're spawning at. It looks awesome. 
Again, because of the freezing cold and the lack of gear at the moment, obviously I've just started out. I haven't had a good chance to explore it. But um, the other places I've spawned in look very similar to this, although higher up, so more of a tundra looking area. But looks great. Again, can't wait to explore this place either. Just your normal biome, but obviously um, got its own look to it. And uh, I think they've done a real good job with with the Genesis map overall. Um, but I do feel like a little bit claustrophobic. Maybe it's just because I've been playing a lot of Atlas recently. And obviously Atlas is absolutely gigantic. Um, but yeah, it doesn't feel each biome doesn't feel that big. But then I suppose because you go teleport in and out of the biomes, um, it doesn't feel that big anyway. Uh, but maybe it is actually bigger than you imagine. Um, but yeah, I do like it though, having said that. I do really like the look of it. Like I said, all the areas I've looked at so far have looked... Well, you wouldn't expect anything less from Ark. Like, they look fantastic. Everywhere you go looks fantastic. Um, yeah, it's just a really well done map. And I really like... You can see down there, I can't reach from here, but you can see down there that purple light. That's a glitch. If you go up to the glitch and close it, um, you get a little bit of a um, backstory or a little bit of um, dialogue from H. And you get some um, hexes, the the credits you use to trade with H, that um, you well, exchange the here. Exchange. Hex can exchange. You can get loot crates, I, um, resources, all that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. And you obviously earn them from good. the missions as well. So this is the missions. There's 176 in all of the missions, I believe, according to this. Which I guess it is. That's what it says it, idiot. Um... <laughs> And you can see the Arctic missions when you're in the Arctic, and obviously jump to the different biomes. It will show you what they are there. And I really like this. You've got a leaderboard, which I'm guessing is a server-wide leaderboard, and um, so you can s compete with each other in the missions. There's a lot of like races from what we've seen and things like that. You can see how there's uh, saber slalom. Each one's got its uh, you know different difficulty, which is pretty cool. Um, Master the Spire Rock Trail by racing your snow saber down the mountain. So obviously you get a saber and race this trail and it times it. And you've got a little leaderboard and if you complete it you get your rewards. But I think that's really, really good. It's a nice addition to the game. Adds another load of content to Ark. I personally don't think Ark's ever lacked content. Um, I've always really enjoyed it. But that is, you know, the more content the better. And that's a really nice addition in my opinion. I think it's really cool, a little bit different. And um, yeah, I think they've done a great job of it. I'm just going to let my dude die and spawn back at my little hut and um, I'll give you the rest of my first impressions of um, Ark Genesis. Boom. Look at it. What an awesome view to finish with. It looks stunning, doesn't it? Look at it. Absolutely beautiful. And my crappy little hut, which I will make look better at some point, but I just wanted some protection and somewhere to put my bed, obviously. And uh, like I said earlier, I'm going to play around with this when I've got a chance. But um, yeah, first impressions, Arc Genesis. I'm impressed. I really like it. I love the look of it, um, of each biome. It looks great. This bog biome actually looks absolutely brilliant. Um, I can't believe they've put it as um, an easy biome. It's ridiculous when you first spawn in. I got kind of lucky when I started recording this. Um, I've been messing around with the server settings and getting it right, and I've just reset it when I started recording. But um, before I reset, I was having a little look around, and every time I spawned in there, I was spawning in like swarms of flies and a bunch of raptors, all sorts of stuff, just continuously dying. It was super hard, not easy. Um, the ocean by I keep saying I ocean. What the hell? The ocean biome is classed as hard. And is relatively relaxed. Um, I guess it's classed as hard because you can't actually get to the other um, bluffs in the region. And if you're playing with the um, official sort of um, uh, Genesis settings, um, be the best way to describe it, with the no flying, uh, no flying dinos and no building in the mission areas then obviously it limits you to where you can go and what you can get so obviously I guess that's why it's hard but overall there's not really anything there looking to kill you constantly um, in the areas you drop into at least so 
Yeah, a bit strange that they've done that. I, I guess it is because of the resources. Either that or devs are trolling. I don't know. But I do feel kind of forced into the um, bog biome. As I started out, it felt like the only real legit place to start. Obviously, the cold biome's freezing and you ain't got no fur to start with. Um, I mean, if you had a way of getting fur really quickly, then maybe you could do that. But, I'm at, but to be honest, I think you're going to have to just start here or the ocean biome if you can manage to get the right resources. But like I said, from what I've seen, everywhere you jump to, if you've got the normal Genesis settings on, is a no-build area. So you're going to have to get off them bluffs and onto another one. And all the ones I had a little look at around the starting areas that weren't in the uh, mission zones kind of thing, that you would be able to build in essentially, had no access from the water. So if you fall off, you, you're kind of stuck there unless you like jump back out using H. Uh, which, I've so far, I don't... As far as I'm aware, you can't use her while you're in the water swimming. You have to like literally be stood on something to be able to access her. So... Um, that's a little bit of an issue as well. You have to swim around a little bit to find a way out. But yeah, like I said, it kind of made me feel forced into the bog biome because you can build pretty much anywhere straight away. It's a fairly large area. All the resources are here, but it is at a cost. The cost being your life because it's super dangerous and um, really easy to die. But um, once you get a little bit acclimatized and run around a little bit, you can, you know, like I did, I only died a few times. <laughs> <laughs> but we got a little hut set up, got the bed down. Once you've got your bed down, all is well. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. But like I said, do feel forced into the, the bog biome. The missions and stuff, like I said earlier, a really, really cool addition to the game. I really like it. I really like the hexagon reward system. I like the fact you can buy some loot crates. I don't know what they're going to add to it later. Maybe they'll add some other stuff into it. It would be really awesome if they added some... Um, uh, some apparel or costumes that were only attainable through hex, um, so that they weren't a um, achievement or whatever. You know, it was actually from the hex. Although speaking of achievements, it'd be kind of cool if you could unlock stuff through the missions as well. I haven't looked yet, so maybe you can. Um, uh, but if they haven't, it'd be really cool if you could do that eventually. Um, so yeah, there's lots of things they could do with what they've put into the game now. And like I said a few times, it looks amazing. And you would expect nothing less from um, Ark. And yeah, I'm absolutely blown away by it, as I always am with Ark. And um, can't wait to get stuck back into it. Like I said earlier, this is going to basically be a continuation of my Infant Ark series. I'm not going to be doing any more um, sort of... Um, storied series if you know what I mean like it's just going to be me playing doing different things um, and eventually once my mates get on here which I will be soon fingers crossed um, be doing some PvP and some little events which we'll record and stuff like that so really looking forward to that if you're a regular viewer to my channel I'm not going to be replacing Atlas or Star Citizen so don't worry um, I'm probably just going to stick these out um, when I can this will come out as soon as I've edited it and uploaded it. Um, and then after that, I, I will try and get these out weekly. But obviously, three videos a week is a lot for me because I've got a full-time job and everything. Which, if you're a regular viewer, you'll already know that I've mentioned it like hundreds of times. Um, <laughs> I'm not moaning, but that's just the way it is. So, yeah, I'm not sure how it's going to work. But I love Ark and I am going to be playing it. But at the same time, I'm absolutely obsessed with Atlas. And obviously, we're playing official on Atlas. And I don't want to lose anything we've attained on there. So, I'm going to have to stick with it and keep um, bringing in that gold on Atlas. And obviously, feeding all our teams and stuff. But um, I'm definitely going to be playing a lot of Ark. So, it's going to be interesting to see how I cope with it and see what we can do. Um, I probably will eventually juggle this round with Star Citizen because um, there's going to be a point in Star Citizen. I don't want to waffle on, that's why I'm putting this at the end. So if you're interested, obviously stick around and listen to it. I'm just going to explain like how it's going to all work. But I imagine eventually with Star Citizen, I'm going to get to a point where I'm going to have to go and farm more um, currency to be able to get better ships and weapons and all that stuff. So there will be a pause in progression, if you like, where I'm just farming. And at that point... You guys ain't going to want to watch me just running box missions or or continuously mining. Although I will show mining as I do it like for the first time to like obviously showcase it a little bit. But you ain't going to want to see that all the time. It will be um, boring, wouldn't it? So, uh, yeah. 
at that point, obviously, Ark will get um, pushed to the f forefront, I suppose. And then um, once I get to a new part of Star Citizen where I'm doing operations or doing new stuff, obviously, Star Citizen will be put back in the channel. But I imagine, at least to start with, Ark and Star Citizen will eventually interchange with each other. Like I said, but it'll be when I get to a point in Star Citizen where um, that's possible. But at the moment, Ark will just be as and when I've got it. And, um, yeah, hopefully it will be every week, but we'll see. I, I will try and get three videos a week up, but we'll see how it goes. Um, like I said, Ar uh, Atlas and Star Citizen at the moment are going to take um, take the front line kind of thing. But, yeah, Arc Genesis, it's here. I'm in it. I'm super happy. I've got my server back. All my friends are going to be on here soon, hopefully. Um, if I can drag them off of other games that they're playing at the minute. But yeah, should be fun. I can't wait to get some PvP going and stuff like that. And um, yeah, obviously this isn't really set of PvP right now, but it's, like I said, just to get a, a bed down and a little bit of storage. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on Arc Genesis, if you've played it already, or if you're thinking about getting it, what do you think? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>